Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of inhomecomputerhelp.com right here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I help uh, people covering all of Oahu and of course remotely for anyone in the United States of America. Today, by special request, I've been asked to show you folks how to write your own backup program so that your Windows computer can back up your files to an external hard drive or even just a flash drive. So that's what we're going to do today. And I've seen videos where people talk a lot and then they get to the lesson and I don't want my videos to be that way. So we're going to get right into the lesson. So uh, let me minimize this for you. The first thing that we're going to do go down here to Cortana and type in control or you can press Windows and tap the R on your keyboard and you notice I do that quite a bit so I've already gone to control panel now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the view of your files and let me show you why so if I click on this that says it's a PDF right so a PDF sir we've all heard of those those are those are nice and safe to open so let's go ahead and click on that. Oh no, it's a virus. I know I just made that up. I just made this page real quick here. It's <clears throat> it's perfectly safe. And uh, I actually put it in the download section because that's where I've cleaned these out of computers before uh, when people really did try to uh, cheat other people. So, uh, Let's go ahead and minimize that. And so that's why we're doing that is for protection. And it's going to make it um, a lot easier to make this little program script like thing called a batch file. So we typed in control here or in Cortana in a little search box right here. And we're going to press OK. And from here, we're going to go to File Explorer Options. Oh, sorry. If you have, in most cases, you're going to have this view right here. Okay, that's fine for general use. But go ahead and click on Category, and then click Large Icons. And then from there, go to File Explorer Options. From there, click on View. Right that tab right there in the middle and click uncheck hide extensions for known file types okay now after you do this you'll be able to see the endings of all of your files and i'm going to go ahead and close that now and let's click let's just single click on this right now oh look at that it's actually a bat file that's one of the that's what we're going to be learning how to how to make but it's not going to be too you know, make uh, make little fake virus things like this. It's actually going to do some good and help you make a backup program. So uh, I've already got a flash drive in place, and if you don't, if you don't get to your flashlight when you first put it in, you know how when you first get it in, it. Uh, May not do it this time because I just put it right back in. You know, sometimes it'll open up like that. Okay. And if it doesn't open up like that, then just go down here to your uh, file explorer and click on that. And then look along the left hand side of the column. There it is, USB drive E. You can click on that, and there's your file. Uh, so, I'm going to right mouse click on this, right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action, and then I'm going to left mouse click. Oh, I didn't show you how to make this. Sorry. Right mouse click on any anywhere in the white area, right there in the flash drive area. Okay, so we're on the flash drive, and this has to run through the flash drive the way I designed it. Go to New and tell it Text Document. Okay. Now you notice because of the change we made, we made the dot. We can see the dot txt. Now normally you cannot change 
this suffix here, this file type uh, ending, because if you do that, then your program won't know how to how to deal with it. So you double click on it and uh, Windows won't know what software to use. In this case, we are going to change the ending because we're going to make it a bat file. So I want you to name yours the same thing I'm making this up here, if you want to. But name it my backup and say dot bat. And let's just press enter. And you'll end up with the uh, with the above name right there. And I'm going to press escape to undo that. And then I'm going to right mouse click for a menu. And then I'm going to left mouse click for the action of deleting. Can you tell I'm an in-home computer tutor, by the way? <laughs> OK, so let's let's edit this again with a right mouse click. Left mouse click on, uh, now we'll left mouse click on edit. OK, and I've actually got, uh, I've actually got the little codes right in here. These ones right up here that I'm highlighting right now are not necessary for you to back up your files. These are just basically to help clean up temporary internet files and things like that. This is things that should be done on a regular basis anyway. And this xcopy program, this little batch file that we're making up, will actually copy everything from your user profile, which is what you basically named your profile when you first started and set up your computer. And it'll copy it to a subfolder called your username. So whatever, like, for example, my user profile is an entire path leading to in-home computer help. My username is in-home computer help. And you notice the quotation marks up here. Now, don't worry. I wrote an entire article on this. So, and in that article, you can copy and paste what I'm writing down here. I have the exact thing down here. In fact, it's probably in more detail because there's always something I forget when I'm doing a video. Uh, but we got all this here for extra. And then this is going to copy everything. And you're going to get some errors. Uh, these switches here, um, forward slash D stands for date. Forward slash S stands for subfolder. Uh, C, I believe, is continue. I could get that wrong if there's an error, but I think E does that too. Uh, somebody may have to help me with that. Uh, some of these switches I got in here that I use on a regular basis, but the main two, the main three switches, okay, forward slash Y, forward slash D, and forward slash S. Yes, yes, those are forward slashes, not backslashes. So forward slash D will allow updates. In other words, if it, it'll check the file that it's copying, and it will not copy it again. So this is a huge time saver for you. Okay. Uh, forward slash S, as I mentioned, will get all the subfolders. So anything below username, which is everything, is a subfolder. And that includes app data and stuff like that, which doesn't necessarily need to be copied. But I've always wanted to, you know, copy too much stuff than not enough, if you know what I mean. OK, and then finally, we got forward slash Y, which gives the program automatic com permission to overwrite a file it needs to update. So without doing that, you know, you'd, end, you'd be clicking Y on your keyboard, you know, a thousand times every time you ran this program. So forward slash E, as I recall now, actually uh, copies empty subfolders. So you get your entire directory tree that way. And just in case, uh, I have this happen once in a while because uh, Xcopy also copies hidden files. Uh, so, and sometimes <laughs> it hides a file. So I've got it so that Xcopy will not hide the files here at the end here when you're done. And then I do a pause right here. So 
let's say if you're pausing, let's say if you make a mistake here and you do something like uh, X, 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 X copy. Okay, so let's save that and we'll double click. And then we're going to double click on this. Remember, this is in the flash drive. Otherwise, it won't work. Double click. Whoops. Let's see what it says there. XXXX copy is not recognized as an internal or external command. Okay, so that's why we got pause. If we didn't have pause in there, then the thing would just disappear like that. So let's fix that up. And let's just make that X copy like we know it's supposed to be. Now I can also, if I want to save something, I could just X to exit right here. And if I made a change, it'll ask me if I want to save it. Okay. So let's double click on this again. And there we go. Now it's starting to back things up. And the first time this goes to back up, it's going to take a long time because it's backing up everything uh, below your uh, profile, your username. And when you first do this, it's copying all the files. The next time you do this, it'll just do updates. Uh, also, a couple things. Keep the flash drive or the external hard drive unplugged from the computer unless you're doing a backup. If you keep it plugged in all the time, then it uh, uh, can be uh, virus ridden. You know, if you get a virus on the computer, it'll spider over to anything else plugged in. And that includes your backup. So you don't want that. Uh, so keep that plugged in. Also a surge, uh, electrical surge, frying your motherboard. That'll fry anything else that's plugged into it too, or it could. All right, so let's just uh, let's just stop this here. And there's my uh, username in Home Computer Help. If I click on this, it's it started copying some things already. It didn't get to the main things yet, like documents and and things like that. But it would if, if you wanted to sit here and, and watch it do this. And once again, I have all of that information on. Once again, I have, sorry. Once again, I have all of that information uh, in the article that I wrote. And your easiest way to do this is to click on the link below in the description of this video. If you're not already on the page, because I'm already, I'm also going to embed this video onto the page, and in the article itself, you'll find the the code that you can copy and paste. Obviously, if you have any trouble, I'm available for hire, and I'm available for quick questions via email, or even uh, quick questions via text if you're in the United States. I guess that's it. So, uh, God bless you. Enjoy your computers, and please back up your computers. It's not if the computer will crash. It's when the computer will crash. And are you proactively compare, prepared? And this is Rick Kirkham of ProactiveComputerSupport.com. Aloha.